Hi students, coming to our next topic that is asset properties. So in the previous video, we had seen that what is a transaction management and what are the transaction means. So let us see here the asset properties. So first thing is in order to maintain database, in order to maintain consistency in database. So in order to maintain consistency in database before or after transaction, before or after transaction, certain properties are followed by the transaction. So, if you want to maintain the database in consistency state, means to main, uh, in a correct state. So, before or after transactions, these transactions has to follow some certain properties. So, those properties you call it as acid properties. Okay. So, the main use of this acid property is to ensure in order to, in order to ensure accuracy completeness and data integrity we will use this asset property okay so here a means atomicity c means consistency I is isolation and D means durability. So, these are all the different uh, properties that are used uh, while you are doing the transactions. So, if the transaction is satisfies all these properties, then you can say that the database, uh, whatever the database you are having, that database is in consistent state. It is following the correct procedure, it is having the accurate, correct values. So, atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. So, let us uh, discuss one by one. So, first is atomicity. So, what is atomicity? So, it states that the transaction must be in atomic. The first point is the atomicity is nothing but it states that the transaction whatever you are doing that must be atomic transaction must be atomic so what it means atomic means uh, either all of its operations are executed or none operations means all transactions should be completed or none so nothing has to be done means you have your database is unchanged so atomicity means it must be atomic atomic means it has to do all the operations or it ha it doesn't do anything okay so you call this rule uh, atomicity is also called as all or nothing rule so we call it as all or nothing rule okay so here if one part of transaction fails entire uh, transaction is also fail in the database means if suppose it's doing some operation suddenly some failure is occur in your database so what it does it will makes the transactions unchanged so whatever the before your database is uh, in the consistent state it will be also in that consistent state itself okay means it's all or nothing rule it does if all the transaction has to be completed or nothing will be completed so here we are it involves two operations in atomicity involves two operations abort or commit abort or commit abort means changes made to database or not visible so whenever you are 
uh, keep the transaction as abort whenever you say the transaction is abort means the changes whatever made to a database are not visible it means they are not saved commit means changes made to database or visible so means after the completion only we are use the commit statement whenever you make the statement transaction as a commit then the whatever the changes that are made in the database are visible to you okay so let us take one example for explaining this atomicity example right? t1 and t2 are two transactions let us take these are two transactions okay so if you want to transfer amount suppose amount 100 rupees from account a to account b okay so two transactions are there you want to transfer 100 rupees from account a to account b so already in account a you are having 500 rupees and in account b you are having 200 rupees so 500 rupees and 200 rupees are there so this is a t1 transaction first what it does it read a value so 500 is read first so after that a minus 100 means the 100 amounts you have to be transferred so deduct 100 rupees from a account then you have to save it write a so t2 transaction read b so whatever the is there the b consisting of 200 rupees so it reads 2 and the b is equal to b plus 100 means we are transferring a to b so a 100 should be minus and b 100 should be added right b so now value of a is here it is 400 and here it is uh, 200 plus 100 300 so here you have to check before transaction a and b will be is 700 and after transaction a and b is 400 plus 300 is equal to 700 so then we can say that the database in consistent state so after doing the transactions also the database is maintaining the consistent state okay so this actually the exact process suppose some failure is occurred so if you are not using the atomicity property or if you are not using the uh, consistency properties so if suddenly uh, if you are transferring the amount from a to b so before if transaction fails after t1 after t1 before t2 so it, it doesn't execute this only uh, it just transfer the 100 rupees and suddenly the system fails or the power failure is occur what it is the amount in a is deducted but is not added in b so the result will be in inconsistent state so the result is it is in inconsistent state okay so here if you are not using the atomicity property if the transaction fails doing before uh, after t, t2 before t uh, means after the completion of t1 before t2 okay if the suddenly the transaction uh, system fails it, the amount in account a is deducted but it is not added in the b so it will uh, cause the inconsistent state okay so to overcome this problem we are we are using the atomicity so what this atomicity will do okay so if the suddenly the system fails it keeps whatever the changes that are made in the system will be unchanged that means aborted the transaction is aborted so changes made to database are not visible until the transaction is completed okay so after complete transaction is completed if you use the commit statement then only the changes made to the system are visible so this atomicity will helps the transaction to maintain the database in a consistent state so whenever the system fails before uh, in the middle of the transactions uh, the system doesn't uh, make those changes as a permanent until you commit the system okay so that you call it as atomicity.